art installation Light of Passage hovers under a skylight at the County of San Diego Southeastern Live Well Center. Hand-cut pieces of four different types of glass are attached to stainless steel wires, representing the nearby Choyas Creek. It's a sunny day, so the glass creates shadow play on the wall and floor below. Splashes of blue, purple, and yellow. I came up with a sort of a general concept that went out to the public, to the community for feedback. Um, during that period, they've expressed um, their desire to see a lot of colors and um, something that gives hope and optimism. Kauri Fukuyama created the art. I wanted to use um, materials that really sort of shines and reflect off of our beautiful sunlight. Light of Passage is one of many pieces of public art at the New Southeastern Live Well Center. Organizers of the center's art program say the pieces selected were based on community member feedback, an attempt to create a building for the community. The Tubman Chavez Center used to be where the Livewell Center stands now. In October 2021, construction for the 65,000 square foot facility began. The goal was to combine several resource buildings into one. Livewell centers are meant to provide social and health services to San Diegans. They're designed to be one-stop shops, aiming to prevent many visits to different buildings for access to various services. When it came to installing art in the building, the county gathered community input and then used a public art committee to make selections. Barbara Jimenez, community operations officer at the county, said it wasn't hard to get feedback. What we heard directly from the community that, um, that this is a diverse community and that um, having the opportunity really to reflect the diversity through art um, was really important. 100 artists submitted proposals to A Call for Art in spring 2022. Art was purchased from 33 artists with 14 commissioned to create pieces especially for the building. There's installations, statues, paintings, a meditation garden, and more. One of the community requests, diversity, is seen in Francisco Emme's piece Crisol meaning melting pot in Spanish. It consists of panels with ceramics and textiles. It's located in the stairwell under Fukuyama's installation. Visitors see a new panel every few steps taken. Emma says the textiles are from different cultures in San Diego. This work is very non-personal, meaning that I did very little treatment to the textiles. I'm pretty much respecting the original design. And so each of the flowers celebrates our community here. Art consultant Leia Goodwin wanted the building to feel like a healing place. There's evidence-based design principles that I use from my decades of putting art in hospitals and creating healing environments that, that are at play here. Even though it's a public health center, people still may not be having their best day. And we, uh, you know, so as a public art consultant, we looked at ways to find touch points uh, to create beauty. Fukuyama hopes that visitors find that beauty from her work's light and colors. I'm hoping that if some people visit here more than once, then they see the changes throughout the day, throughout the season, and notice little things that changes around us. Laura McCaffrey, KPBS News.